Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are replacing the engine oil and oil filter on this Toyota Auris hybrid. And first of all you want to take the car for a short spin around the block just to heat up the engine, makes draining the oil a bit easier. After that you want to jack up the car, put her on jack stands, or in my case I will be using ramps. So, the tools we need for this are a flat headed screwdriver or a panel clip removal tool. We need a 14 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Uh, we need Toyota's special tool for the filter housing. If you don't get one of these you could get by with something like this to unscrew the filter housing. We need safety goggles and working gloves and a rag and we need something to catch the oil and of course we need a filter and engine oil So, let's get to it. Now you want to remove the filler cap to allow more air in the engine. Makes draining the oil even easier. So right here we have the access panel. Okay, you want to be like that. I win. So right here is the sump drain plug. And keep the catch pan ready. Thank you. 
Don't forget to drop the plug in the catch pan. <laughs> Ooh, this oil is nasty. Yuck. Okay, now we can replace the sound plug. And do not over tighten this. Like so. Now we can move on to the filter. Okay, this was tight. And now I broke it loose. Have the catch pan ready. There we go. Okay, over at the bench, we have the filter. And we remove the seal. Like 
like so. Take a new seal and we lube the seal with some oil like so and make sure it the seal is in the groove all the way And it is. Let me take a new filter. Like so. Let's back. Let's head back to the car. The same goes with this, do, do not over tighten this. Just till it uh, bottoms out, then just a little push. Like so. And just double check that you tighten the sound plug. And we did. So, now it's just a matter of removing some stuff. And replace this panel Like so. Now it's just a matter of putting the car to the ground as level as possible and we can pour in some oil. Okay, so this engine takes 4.7 liter of oil. So I will start with 4 liter
We can watch the dipstick as well. And we need to start the engine to let the new oil lube up the engine and fill up the filter housing. Shaky, shaky. <clears throat> now we'll start the engine like I said and we'll check the level again No drip drops under the car, that's a good sign.
there we go now we can turn the car off and check the level again let's wait a few so the oil has a chance to go down to the sump Maybe now. <sighs> yeah, hey. It's probably hard to show, but the level is right under the top mark so that's good yeah nice so now you know how to change the engine oil and oil filter in this Toyota Auris. Thanks for watching guys.